Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, and today we are going to look at how to use the pen tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a image open, go to File, New, or on your keyboard, hold down Control and press the letter N. And we will open up a new canvas. And for argument's sake, we'll go with the US paper preset at 300 pixels per inch. And I'll switch that to RGB color. And press OK. And Photoshop will create our canvas for us. Now the pen tool is used for, for many things. Today I'm going to use it to create a path and draw along that path. First of all, to find the tool, open up the tools window which can be found normally on your screen if you don't already have it open go up to window and go to tools and you will see the tools window open up the pen tool is located fourth from the bottom on the left hand side and may be hiding behind the freedom pen tool or freeform pen tool add anchor point tool delete anchor point tool or the convert point tool it's the one right at the, at the top of the pen tool. If it is hiding behind any of these, simply left click, hold down, and you will see this menu appear, and you can select the pen tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter P, meaning if I'm using another tool and I wanted to use the pen tool, simply by hitting the letter P on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the pen tool. Let me show you how it works. When I click on my canvas, you will see it creates a point. This is an anchor point that is just created for me. And if I click again, and this time I will not let go of my mouse, I will click and hold. And when you click and hold, you can see when I move my mouse around, it will bend this line. And once I'm happy with the shape of my line, I can let go with my cursor. And I can click again to draw again, and you will see that it links it to the last anchor point. If I click over here, it will of course link to this anchor point, like that. Now we can always edit um, these anchor points after we've drawn them. We can do that by holding down Control on our keyboard, and clicking and dragging. We can also come over here and use the path selection tool. And that will move the entire image around. To draw along this path, we want to first select the brush that we want to draw with. I will be using the brush tool right up here, fourth from the top on the right hand side. The keyboard shortcut is the letter B, and I want to select what type of brush I want to draw with. I'm going to bring down the size a bit and make it harder as well. If you don't already know how to use the brush tool, I have created another tutorial specifically about the brush tool. Now that we have our tool selected, we can go over to our palette over here, and we want to open up the paths window which I already have open, but if you don't, you can find by going to Window, Paths, and you will see the Paths window open up. We can see our work path is visible right now. I'm going to jump back to the layer and create a new layer to draw on, first of all. If you don't already have the Layers palette open, go to Window, Layers, or press F7, and I'll create a new layer over top so we can draw on it. And I'll jump back to the Paths window. And once again, we can see our path there. And we can, of course, see it on the screen. There are a few options down here at the bottom. The one that we are after is the one that looks like a circle with nothing in the middle. You will see when I hover over that, it says Stroke Path with Brush. If I click on that, it will do just that. It will follow along this path with the brush we have selected. Of course we can change our brush, we can change the color, 
we can change the size or any of the attributes and once again click that and it will follow along the path with our brush. So there's a very quick overview of how to use the pen tool with paths in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.